We're in beautiful Guyana, and Guyana's got the largest area of unspoilt rainforest in the whole of the Amazon. There are more species to target here than any of our other destinations. Welcome to the jungle. Located on the northern coast of South America, Guyana is still untouched by mainstream tourism, making it the perfect place for an authentic, adventurous, and awe-inspiring experience. Whether you just want to catch a lot of different fish like payara, bicuda, and pacu, or have something special on your list like a lot of peacock bass, this place has it all. The first cast over there with my lure, and bang, you hit that within a second of landing. Third cast of the day. Look at that beautiful little peacock bass. This one's a different species. This is what they call Lucanani here, and this is a butterfly. This is a great trip for kind of six, eight, maximum 12 anglers. You arrive in Georgetown, we pick you up, we take you to the hotel, you overnight, and then the next day, early in the morning, we fly you to the village of Apateri. Once you leave Georgetown, all you see is this vast green carpet of rainforest, stunningly beautiful, and it stretches for miles and miles and miles. Once you get your feet back on the ground, we'll transfer you to our boats and head upriver through some of the most pristine jungle in the world. You won't see anything on these waters other than fish, trees, water, and lots of wildlife. The lodge you will be staying at is simple and rustic, but the rooms are comfortable and come with mosquito nets and fans. It has a full kitchen staff who prepare solid, clean, quality food at every meal. A lot of the, the questions we answer when you start putting up your tackle, you know, which lures to use, which setups to use, you know, for which fish, and we explain everything really pretty, pretty good so that you can, you can go out in the morning and you've got a great idea of what to do and how to use it. This thing, this thing's freaking two meters long, look at it. Look at those teeth. <sighs> there are so many different types of fishing situations here from waterfalls to lagoons and even beaches. You will never run out of things to try. So what's really interesting, right, is you can come into a creek like this and you just don't know what you're gonna catch. You don't know where it's gonna go, you don't know how wide it's gonna be. You've got all sorts of different fish. This is a real adventure and what we love to do here in Guyana. One of the best activities we have here in fishing is arapaima fishing. But it's adventure just from the start, because in the dry season, what we have to do is drag the boats up really steep banks, and then put them across the rainforest floor, and then put them in the lagoon. So you, you know, it's, it's, a, it's just a crazy way of, of getting it. If the water's high, then we just drive straight through uh, by boat, and we get into these big lagoons, and there are these arapaimas just waiting. This is what we come for. This is the prize of the prize. Look at that. Arapaima, baby. We have so many different catfish species here, but the Grand Slam, the three big boys, are the Lao, 
or Goliath catfish or Piedaiba catfish, which can grow to about 400 plus. We have yeah. red tails that can grow over 150, and we have Zhao cats, which go to kind of 130, 140. These are big boys, and they're the three main species that we target. One of the great things about this experience is our friendly English-speaking support staff and especially our guides. All the guys at our Jaguar camp are local Amerindians and they know these areas like the back of their hands. They are so good at everything they do. They see things that you guys can't see. They'll look at things and then say, hey, look at that over there. And you don't know what you're looking at because only they can see it. They are so good. Wow, look, look at that. This is a male red pacu. Look at the coloration on this thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. You've got to be, yeah, 10, 11 pounds, this guy. Oh, yeah. One. This is number four of the morning, just in the set of rapids. Paku after Paku after Paku. What great sport this is on light tackle. One of the great things about this place is that you can catch your fish a few hours before lunch, come to an idyllic island like this, make a fire, cook your fish, and eat it fresh as you can. Excellent. Fish whip. Mm. You want piranhas? I'll show you piranhas. Oh, look at that thing. Six and a half pounds of raw muscle. And this is another species we get here, arowana, and they grow way bigger than this. Gorgeous fish, orange tail with a black spot. And these are the cheetahs of the Amazon River. That is the silver drum, or a basha as we call them here in Guyana. Look at that, isn't that the most beautiful fish? Sightseeing for surabim catfish is nothing like it. They're just going up and down this little alleyway. Cast the bait and bang. This trip is a good trip for adventurous people, um, but we get people from all ages. We've had young ones here from kind of 12 years old all the way up till 80 odd years old. But it's, it's all good fun and it is an adventure. It's just an amazing, happy trip. I love the trip. I would definitely come again. I got I think 13 species, if I did my math correctly, and uh, a whole bunch of the more common ones, and a couple of the ones I really wanted, like a big red-tailed catfish and a big arapaima, and um, had a great time. Would definitely come back. So I caught all my target species on fly, payara, arapaima, arowana, and peacock bass. The staff are very hardworking, and they really want you to succeed in your goals. Especially for me, it was a little bit more difficult as a fly angler. They made it happen, and, um, and I would definitely recommend coming here. If you're looking for an authentic fishing adventure with lots of species for a great price, then this is the trip for you.